Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. There's still a lot of warm air out there for tonight's battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the USC Trojans. Yes, this rivalry is special, folks, and it's for the jeweled Shalala, an emerald adorned war club first introduced in 1952. And here come the Trojans. The Fighting Irish look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? USC is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. I agree with you on this one. USC equals victory. are lining up for the kickoff and we're just about set to get this one underway kicks it off number 20 fields it at the two they'll set up shot at the 22 yard line single set back to you Back to pass. Throws. Got it to the senior. Tackle. And a pickup of about seven. Seven yard gain on the play. Second and three. Ball on the 29. He drops back. He's looking. Steps up, rolls to the right, throws this one out to the left. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, oh, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. Across the middle, and that one's fallen incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. High formation here. Toss. Throws this one out to the right. Found his man. And he's taken down. I think we just witnessed how a trick plays run to perfection, and the defense is still trying to figure out what happened. The Fighting Irish line up with two tight ends. He gets the pass away. It falls incomplete. The pressure may have forced the incompletion there. That defense was about to plant him into the ground. He's lucky he even got that ball off. The Irish line up in an I formation. Back to pass. He throws it to the outside. And he came down with it. What a catch. That pass found a wide receiver for six. And I think the quarterback has found a soft spot in this defense.
and he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. it off. Number 22, pass to the five, can't wrap him up. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. This safety's a big time player, but he's going to have to play his best game today. He faces a quarterback that can make you pay if you're not careful. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. Ha! I like that. Hurt making a call. Let's see if he picks off one before this game is over. Way to look it in. Nice kick. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. Number five, the lone back. And he's hit as he throws. He got it. They'll bring him down. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. <laughs> On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. USC lines up in a pro set. Here's an option, right side. He fakes a pitch. He laterals the ball. They'll drop him for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. About 12 yards out. They come out with a big set. Get it again. And they got him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third and 11 coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. USC sets up with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Looking. Looks to the end zone. Someone got a hand on it. He tried to force that one in. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. Number 19 is lined up for the kick. He gets it up. And it's right down the middle. Let's take a glance down to Pontiac Drive Summary. for the kickoff. Is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Here's the call from the referee. The legal procedure on the kicking team. The ball will be spotted at the 35 yard line. The kick out of bounds will set him up with good field position. They'll go to work at the 35 yard line. Notre Dame comes out with two tight ends. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's 
taken down. That'll be a pickup of a yard. One yard gain on the play. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 36 yard line. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking down the middle. And it's the senior. And they make the stop. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Let's it go. With that pressure, he just couldn't do much with it. His chance of accuracy on that throw was practically zero. Good job by the defense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. They come out with three wide receivers. On the ground with the tailback. Makes a move. And he's tackled. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Irish with four receivers. Inside handoff. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. It's second down and 11 to go, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. On the ground with the tailback. Spin move. He can scoot. The five. Touchdown, Notre Dame. That was a big run by the halfback. What this kid makes the defense look silly. They're grabbing at a bunch of air down there. They gotta hit somebody. the PAT and here's the Pontiac drive summary up for the kickoff. Number 22 and number 5 back to return and they'll be returning this one. Number 5 fields it at the 2. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense and they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll start this drive at the 21 yard line. The Trojans line up in a split back set. On the ground with a tailback. He broke his ankles. He can scoot. Sheds a tackler. They'll bring him down. Now that's how you get an easy first down. Just give it to the fastest guy on the team. Yo, I didn't believe it when I heard this kid to run a 4 3 40. And now I'm starting to wonder. I believe it after that. He was moving. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. Throws this one out to the left. It's tipped. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. With the throw. It's Gronk. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time. Guys. Just let that one get away from his vision just for a split second. Third and ten. Ball on the 47. Number 11 with four wide receivers. He drops back. Looks. Under pressure. Going deep. Lays it out there. Off his hands and incomplete. Dropped by the wideout. Punt this one away. Number 14 boots it way up there. Number 20 signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 16. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 16-yard line. Five wide. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Complete. And he's taken down. Six-yard pickup. Gain of six on the play. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Notre Dame, 14. USC, three. It's second down and four to go. Ball on their own 22. Notre Dame lines up in a double tight set. Yubu, tackle. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. Ball on the 33. Notre Dame comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight ends gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. The Irish line up with four wideouts. Back to pass. Throws down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. Third down and ten coming up, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws this one out to the left. Got it to his receiver. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. It's first and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. They line up in an eye. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking. He's going left. And it's the tight end. Brought down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Nice play fake. Throws this one out to the left. 
And down he goes. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. On the 11 going in. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Picked off in the end zone. Broke away from one. So the defense makes a great play in the end zone and comes away with a pick. And that, my friends, is how you play defense. You make the quarterback think he's got six, then you step in front of the ball and just take it away from him. And they've got their work cut out for them on this drive. USC comes out with two tight ends. It's just right. Tries to juke. He's on the run. They'll bring him down. And that run gives them a little breathing room. You can say that again, sweetheart. That was a huge play. First and ten. Ball on their own 25. The Trojans come out with split back. Back to pass. He throws it to the outside. And he shoved out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. Ball on the 37. USC comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high, and that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. And they have three receivers punch. Here's the pitch, left side. Tackle. I hope you didn't blink because the fastest running back we've seen all year just kept the drive alive with a big first down. Fastest running back we've seen all year is a bold statement. But you know what, Brad? It's probably true. First and ten. Ball on the 48. Number 11 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Steps up in the pocket. Throws this one out to the right. He's got his tight end. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. Be tackler. Brought down. Three yard gain by the running back. It's second down and seven to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. Third and two coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Trojans line up with two tight ends. They'll run the option. Ball is loose. Fumble. Number two with a recovery. And this turnover is certainly not what they were hoping for. 
The rich get richer, but let's not write them off just yet. It's still early, but they can't afford to turn the ball over and let this thing get out of hand. Set up shot at the 15. The Fighting Irish with four receivers. Here's the give. He jukes him. Here he goes. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. It's first and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Number 10, lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Down the middle, and it's caught, brought down. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second down and five. Ball on the 32. Number three is in the zone and looking to make something happen. He drops back. Looking. Across the middle. Did he catch it? Yes. Tackle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10, ball on their own 42. They come out with three wide receivers. Nice play fake, throws this one out to the right. Couldn't haul it in. Now coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it, it just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. That'll at least get him used to catching bullet passes. Three wide outs here. Play action. Across the middle. Complete. He's hit and got away with a stiff arm. He's knocked out of bounds. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. The Fighting Irish go with the eye formation. Throws to the middle, found his man, and down he goes. Notre Dame takes a timeout. It's first and 10, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. the gun. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. Dropped by the wideout. So it's second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. He steps up, looks, comes across the middle, and it's the senior. About four yards on that play. One man backfield. On the ground with a tailback. Who's we'll taking big move? And he's taken down. Five yards. Call on the 
field goal unit here. It's up. And it is good. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. They're ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number 22 takes it at the four. <laughs> Folks, let's pause now as we reach the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Notre Dame 17, USC 3. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He kicks it. Number 22 has it at the five. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Go to work at the 24-yard line. The Trojans line up with two tight ends. Pitch lap, missed tackle, and they make the stop. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 31. High formation here. He steps up. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there running the football by this guy. First and ten, ball on their own 42. The Trojans line up in a split back set. Another run. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled. And that was an excellent run there. Yeah, Brad, but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. They go with the run. And down he goes. The halfback runs for four yards. Second down and six to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. USC lines up with three receivers. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Got an opening. Touchdown, USC. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy swinging the ball all over the field out there. Yeah. 
and he hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Notre Dame 17, USC 10. USC to kick. USC is lined up for the kickoff. Number 20. And they'll be returning this one. Number 20 fields it at the one. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 19-yard line. Notre Dame in a five-wide set. He tosses it short, and he can't make the catch. The halfback decided to let that one bounce off his hands. That wasn't his best effort. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 19. Nickel defense. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He jukes. They'll bring him down. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. They're down in seven. Ball on their own 22. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. Back to pass. Steps up, looking. Comes across the middle. To the middle, it's his tight end. And they make the stop. It's first and 10, ball on the 45. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Gets past the tackle, and down he goes. And they pick up nine there. Second and one coming up here. This is the fifth play of this drive. Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. They go with a toss. He can scoop. And he's tackled. And a huge run by the tailback. This guy's always had outstanding vision, but it seems he's got some incredible quickness as well once he gets into the open field. Boy, you're right. This kid showed me he's a great-looking athlete. It's first and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. There's the play fake. He goes downtown. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Now with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Second and 10. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. The Fighting Irish line up with five receivers. He'll dump this one off. The senior makes the catch. The five. Touchdown, Notre Dame. What an athletic play by the wideout. This guy's one of the most athletic players I've seen all year. You realize in high school, this guy was all state in football, basketball, and baseball. He's been making big plays his whole life.
and he tacks on the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number five fields it in the end zone. A little zip. That last drive resulted in a touchdown, mainly because of the running game. And with that success running the football, I'm looking for play action then right over the top for six. They'll get the ball here at the 16-yard line. USC comes out with three receivers bunch. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes a move. Tackle. First down, and man, oh man, can he fly. Whew, that guy looks like a track star out there. Good looking run. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Number 11 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. Throws this one out to the right. Down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10. Goodbye. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with this goal. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. to kick it away number 20 and number 28 back deep to return kicks it off number 28 fields it in the end zone well the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown they'll take over at the 19 yard line The Fighting Irish set up in the gun. They'll throw on first down. Looks, shakes off a tackle. He wants it all going long. Got it to the senior. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. Number three is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hands. Pull that handoff. Yuku brought down. Maybe a few, but that's it. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 35. Come out 
in the ace formation. They're going to pitch it. Has some daylight. The 10. And he gets the touchdown. There's number two on the day. The coach loves to give the football to this running back. You know why? Because he knows how to find the end zone. Tax on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Set to return. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number five. Fields it at the three. He's hit and got away. And he's still on his feet. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick. Hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. It's first and ten. Ball in the 25. The Trojans come out in a bunch formation. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Second and 13. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Irish bring in their dive package. Play fake. And they got it. The quarterback had nowhere to go, and he's brought down for the sack. They've got to do a better job up front with their pass protection. If they don't start picking up everybody, then this quarterback's going to be pretty sore in the morning. That's for sure. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Notre Dame 31, USC 17. situation here on third and long ball on their own 18 this defense is looking to their impact corner to make a play he steps up throws and it's caught they'll bring him down the receiver did come down with the ball but he'll be short of the first down yeah I just can't figure out why you'd run that play on third down Trojan line up the punt. Number 14 gets it off. Number 20 fields it for 39. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Go to work at the 41. Six DBs in the lineup. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He'll dump this one off. Has it to the senior. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving for the game. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 50. The Fighting Irish come out in the ace formation. Uh, 
Breaks one. Inside the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown! What do you have for us, Lee? That was his third rushing score for the game. If I was a coach, I'd give this kid the ball every time. It's the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. one off and he got all of this one great kick number 22 fields it in the end zone flag down and I'm not sure when it was thrown let's find out flipping on the receiving team Half the distance from the spot of the foul so they'll move Touchdown. back after that costly penalty and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here it's first and ten. Ball on the ten. Number 11 is in the zone and looking to make a play. They are going to pitch it. And he's hit hard. A big gain for the halfback. You know, when we talked to the coach yesterday, he said they were going to run it over, up, and around this defense. Well, here they got a nice gain on the old toss play. First and ten. Ball on the 24. Number 11 comes to the line with three wide. Loose football. And the offense will recover. Are they lucky or what? The quarterback very fortunate that one of his guys recovered the football. Yeah, he's got to be more careful out there. Either tuck that thing away or just get down before contact. I don't care what he does. Just don't fumble. That's all. Do whatever you have to do to protect that football. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 17. Number 11 with three wide receivers. He's looking down the middle. The ball is tipped. Nice play by the linebacker to get his hand in there. And a good call by the coordinator to put his guys in position to make the play. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on the 17-yard line. Keep an eye on that cornerback down there. He has big play potential. Back to pass. Steps up, throws it out there. It's deflected, picks it off. There's a missed tackle. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. side of the 50 as they start this drive. They come out in a goal line set. Inside give. Tackle. And not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much time as possible. Second and nine. Ball on the 21. On 
on the ground with a tailback. Tries to juke. And he's taken down. Guys, he just hit the 200-yard mark for the ball game. Uh, he's running all over this defense. They clearly weren't prepared for this type of game plan. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Six DBs in the lineup. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He tosses a choice. Complete. And he's tackled. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. They line up in an eye. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Good looking run as the halfback found the end zone. He sure did. Took the hand up and boom. Demo, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Notre Dame 45, USC 17. to kick number five and number 22 back ready to return he kicks it number five fields it in the end zone can't wrap him up great job by the defense last time forcing the pick I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off they'll set up shot at the 23 yard line The Trojans line up with three receivers bunch. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Second and ten. Ball on the 23. The Trojans go with the eye formation. Side. And they make the stop. A five yard pickup for the tailback. Five yard gain on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 28 yard line. They go with a toss. Brought down. USC takes a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Two tight ends set. Taken down. USC calls a timeout. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 40 yard line. Hey! 
Four wide. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Got it. He goes down. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards. Well, this wide receiver is definitely having a solid game. He's getting his yards, but more importantly, he's moving the chains for first downs. It's first and 10. This is the sixth play of this drive. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. Got it. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was a first down. First and ten, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. One man backfield. Looking with the throw, and it's caught. Tackle. They pick up two yards on the play action pass. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Trojan line up in a split back set. Play action. Wants to throw outside. It's dropped. So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? Notre Dame talked about how much they wanted to win this game, and they came out and just dominated. You can see how satisfied they are, not just with the win, but winning big against their big rival. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2006. But until then, our final score in this one, Notre Dame 45, USC 17. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.